people are going to be tripped out. Hey, good day, Big Daddy. Big Daddy, what's happening to you? Rockland World Radio. Uh, Meet with the Ryan Rockland. Hey, come on. Hey, Ryan. 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 Okay, we're here at Modern Metro uh, time at 3.30, once again on Rockland World Radio, and I'm talking with the Ramapo players of the Ramapo Drama Club from Ramapo High School, welcoming us this afternoon. Aha, uh-huh. and there, there they are. I'm turning on their microphone so we can have a chat. Welcome, Ramapo Drama Club and director. Say welcome. Hello. 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 Glad to be here. I'm so glad you can be with us today. During our show, and I'll come over here and and join you. Okay, welcome. Thank you. To our show. Thank you for being here. There's a lot going on in Ramapo at the, uh, uh, in the theater department. That's right. Okay, it is the theater department. And I'm sitting here today with Eileen Geiger. Right here, Rai Osa Arthur, Dominique Alvarado, and Desmond Shaganesi. <laughs> How did I do? Uh, better than most. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get to the correct, uh, the correct information on, uh, what, what is your last name? Tell me what it is. Uh, Shangase. Shangase. So we have a wide range of, uh, of people involved in our presentation. We're talking about Rampo High School's Drama Club uh, and this season's production of In the Heights. We can all say that together. We can help <laughs> me here. This is a group participation. Okay. And uh, well, why don't we start with um, here we have also not only people, but there are, there's positions that they hold within the Drama Club. We have two co-presidents and a vice president along with Madam Director. <laughs> so, um, Madam Director. Yes. How's the season going so far? Splendidly. Yes. And when did when did the concept of doing In the Heights first come up? Actually, we wanted to do this play last year, but we didn't have the right music person to do it with. And this year we have Andy Perez, and he's got the right feel for this music. And the, the uh, students are extremely excited about doing this show. It's got Latin music, hip-hop music. It's just fabulous. Mm-hmm. What, what's the story about? It's about um, a Hispanic community living in Washington Heights. And people are from Puerto Rico, Mexico, Dominican Republic, Chile, um, Cuba. Whatever. Cuba. They're from all these places. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, and it's their, it's their, they're living in Washington Heights and the neighborhood's going through different transitions, but um, it shows how they've come from different lands to make a new home for themselves. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. it's a great reflection of uh, that diversity of culture that's in our school. So it's a great fit for us and we were so excited that we found out we were doing it. Mm-hmm. What, what's the time period of In the Heights? Is there a- the 80s, it's 90s? Day. Yeah, it's modern yeah, it's day. day. Oh, modern, so it happens newer. contemporarily. Yep. Yes. yes. Very nice. And so what are some of the, um, the highlights of, uh, of the piece? There's uh, s- songs, of course, that, that go into all of this. Uh, and before we, who, who, are you guys acting in this too? Yes, yes. Or are you we just all part? have okay, our, so you're our all parts and stuff. Actors yes. also, yes. Yes. besides handling some of the uh, administrative duties of the, of the club. Desmond is playing Benny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Dominique is playing Nina. And Rye is playing um, Mr. Mr. Rosario, Kevin. Yes, Kevin Rosario. Who is Nina's father. Who is Nina's father. 
Okay, and the the, uh, the musical accompaniment would that be piano solely, or is there? Yeah, there's an entire band, band. a whole band directed by Andy Perez, like Miss Geiger said, yeah. and we have students from both Ramapo and Spring Valley high schools coming together and giving us amazing music for our amazing show. Cool. Uh, I bet the uh, percussion section is rocking. Yes. Yeah. No, the whole set is rocking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, this sounds fun. And, and rehearsals have begun yes. Yes. already. How, yes, how often do session. you guys rehearse? Uh, many times a week. Every yeah. day of the week, pretty much. Um, uh, we two have to six different. Normally. Yeah, there's Really? Different Every aspects. day, two to six, Monday through Friday, yep. even on weekends, do you get together? Uh, we take a no. break? So no. towards the end of our rehearsals that we start working on it on weekends, and that's like normally before the week of the show, which is uh, our tech rehearsals, yes. which go from two to nine. Uh huh. And it depends on the day too. Like some days it'll be solely the dancers that are rehearsing. Other days it'll be the actors, or sometimes the actors and dancers, and the whole cast for singing. It depends on the day. Mm -hmm. And occasionally, when we could get in the school on Saturday mornings, we have our crew calls where we build the set and create a lot of the props. Right. And even with rehearsals, it varies as well. Like, even if we are working on dances, there are specific dances for each day. So we will be working on certain sets of choreography. Mm -hmm. So it, it's very situational. So. Well, it's a, it's a big undertaking, for sure. And it must be over an hour and 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It's oh. at least two hours. Two hours, hours. Two hours of least. entertainment yes. with an intermission. Yes. 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 Wow. That, that is a massive undertaking. It so you could, if it's two hours of, of performance, I mean, by the time you're done, hundreds, you know, hundreds and hundreds of hours have gone into the Absolutely. performance. Absolutely, yeah. yes. 22 musical numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It's a big show. Right, and all the musicians uh, being there at the same time. and. Um, yeah, well, as of right now, when we're working on the music, we, uh, we work on it with uh, Linda Ford. Um, to work on just the singing right now, just to make sure we have the structure for each song mm -hmm. down. And then as we get closer to uh, the show date, that's when we incorporate the orchestra with us. And that's when we start rehearsing with them alongside um, with our blocking as well. All right. It's a similar situation for the dancing. Yes. I'd imagine so. And the choreographer's name is? Uh, we actually have two. We have uh, Miss Bride, who is a uh, dance teacher at our school, and we have um, Ryan McNeil, who is actually an alumni of the club. Mm -hmm. yes. And we were discussing before we went live that Ryan McNeil's play, uh, Shaken, had been performed here, where we are, on the stage of the Nyack Village Theater right now. Shout out to you, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan McNeil's play was a big hit here um, in August, and... Uh, and then he, he was in, uh, he'd gone on to, uh, immediately after that in Les Mis. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, at Elmwood Playhouse. At Elmwood Playhouse, Elmwood Playhouse. exactly. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so Ryan, there's a lot of talent yeah. in Rockland County. Uh, and and we got to get the word out about Ramapo High School's wonderful uh, program here, especially this spring season. Uh, it happens in March, 28th and 29th, Friday and Saturday night. March 28th and 29th, the Ramapo Players present In the Heights at Ramapo High School, uh, which is, we just found out, two hours of mind-blowing entertainment, musical, dancing, acting. And it's Latin music and hip-hop music, mm -hmm. so the music is fantastic. And you won't be able to sit still in your seat. And, and so <laughs> let's have some more shout-outs. Who's doing costuming? Uh, costuming is also something that's um, uh, done by us. It's also overseen by um, our producers. Well, also. there's two students, um, Yoselin and Tiffany. Yes. Um, who are two students who are gonna be in charge of all the costuming. The thing is, it's a modern day, just regular clothes um, musical. So we don't have to create any costumes yeah. for it. Everybody wears something different. So we have two students who have overseen our uh, costuming before and they've mm -hmm. taken on this responsibility. And it's a large cast, we have 38 students yeah, in the yeah. cast. Well, you want to express, you want them to be expressive garb. Right. Not so much costumes, but you want it to stand out colorful, right. more exaggerate what is already there than just another drab day at school. Correct. You, you kind of like dress it up for the performances. Right. So, uh, so this is very exciting. Rehearsals, you, you must be in heavy, heavy dose rehearsing now. Yeah. Um, it's coming together. The musical is called In the Heights, and it is, it's by, uh, who, who wrote this musical? Uh, the There's two people, I yes. understand. Yes, the book is by uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda. Actually, no. the music is by Lin-Manuel oh, Miranda lyrics. and lyrics, and the book is by Cuiara Alegria. Terrific. 
Uh, and and it, it's a contemporary play, so it's a modern. It's just been right. done. It when was on when Broadway was it? in two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. So it's, it's a really Tony fresh. Award winner. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Won many play. Yeah. And so it, yeah, it's very contemporary. It's it's happening now. And just uh, acquiring the rights to do this is a very special thing. You really have to do a good job on this. They don't allow you to perform, uh, you know, off book or, or not verbatim. You need to stick to the script. Oh, this absolutely. Is exactly as it was written. Correct. And you guys well, are just... Well, we have to change some of the curse words because it's a high school. Oh, that's it, the only were there curses? thing we do. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. So <laughs> that's the only thing we do have to just, you know, but it doesn't really change the, the meaning. Right. No, I don't think so. And... And who who needs to hear all that language anyway? It doesn't it doesn't help the dramatic uh, philosophical. Um, we don't want any upset parents. That's all. We don't need upset parents. No, we don't. <laughs> all the students are like, can't we do the curse words? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who else is involved that we want to give a uh, shout out to? The Ryman Paul High School, of course. Our the, producers. The producers. Um, yes. Um, um, Okay. Producers Cindy who are probably K. out there getting sponsorship right now, Cindy K. And getting Lois. ads for those playbills, and and for advertisers, ads and playbills go a long way because people see these ads and they really go and support the businesses that support the arts. So I can't encourage you more than to take out an ad in the Ramapo Players Playbill for In the Heights. And who are these wonderful producers who are going to be talking to the? Um, sponsors and businesses. Cindy Kay and Lois Feigenbaum are our producers and um, it would be a good idea to place ads in our program because we have a huge auditorium and we have hundreds of people come see the show. Sure. I, I, you, what do you see? Four or five hundred? Yes. About five hundred people. That's amazing. And you're having two performances. That's correct. So that's a thousand. That's right. thousand people will see your your, uh, your business card or your half page ad or take out a deductible. full page. Add tax deductible, and you'd be uh, helping support the arts in your community, which is what it's all about. That's right. Yeah. Um, where can people find you? Is there a Facebook page? Uh, did you create a Facebook event page? We uh, have a Twitter account. Yes. Um, so if you'd like to follow us and keep up with the updates and the shows and everything. Feel free to tweet us. Yeah. We are at Ramapo Players on Twitter. And on Facebook, if you want to like us, you can find us at the Ramapo Players uh, to uh, Ramapo players performing in the Heights, so that's our official Facebook page, and you yep. can go ahead and like that. It's an event Facebook page. That is actually like it's it's a fan page. Yeah, it's a fan, a fan page. page. Oh, I see. So, so that'll stay up too. People can communicate yeah. and say if they're going, and uh, you know, share that with your Facebook friends. Just hit share on that, and that'll go to all your people. And tell someone, take someone to this great musical that encompasses all styles of music. It and, must be amazing. Yup, and if you'd like to um, place an ad in the playbill like we were just talking about, we will have the ad form uh, posted on both of these pages, the Facebook yeah. and the Twitter page. Um, it'll tell you about all the prices and where you could send the form and um, the sheet you know, to place in the program. And you could be supporting us, and we'd really appreciate it. Yeah. And it's tax deductible. Tax deductible. Tax deductible. <laughs> Never argue with that. And if you have any questions, you can call 845-577. 6400, that's 845 577 6400, and they would be talking to whom at that number? Lois Feigenbaum. So call up Lois. Once again, I'm sure you got your pens by now. 845 577 6400. You can also get your tickets at the door the night of the performances, and I'm sure with 500 seats, uh, you anticipate selling out? Yes, they anticipate selling out. So get your tickets in advance <laughs> and buy them for other people and have a night out at your local high school community musical this March, 28th and 29th. At 7.30. 7.30. Plenty of time to get those tickets. And put it on your calendar now. Um, the high school is located in Spring Valley at 400 Viola is how I hear they say it down there. <laughs> it's viola to the rest of us. <laughs> but it's uh, Viola Road down in Spring Valley, uh, Ramapo High School. So I want to thank you. want to thank you guys thank for coming. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and, um, you know, it, maybe we can have a ticket giveaway on the air between now and performance time for one of our Rockland World Radio listeners that to help, help yeah, promote it. 
How about that? That would be sounds great. great. Thank you. Okay, so um, do you guys know a song or something? You want to take us out on a song? <laughs> uh, put them on the spot, didn't I? <laughs> um. <laughs> because what I'm going to do while you guys are singing, here, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to block this. I'm going to get up while you guys start singing and go over to the camera, make sure everything looks good, and then go over here, and I will fade you out, and then we're going to go to our logo and fade out our show. Would that be a way to end this performance? <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure having you, and it's great having you guys here. Thank so you. Thank you. We're going to hear a, a little bit of a song. And we'll be seeing you next time. We'll see you at Ramapo High School, March 28th and 29th. Take it away. What's the key? Where should we start? Uh, Director? Let's see. Uh, you, I... I used to think we lived at the top of the world When the world was just a subway map and the one slash nine climbed a dotted line to my place. There's no nine train now. Right. I used to think the Bronx was a place in the sky when the world was just a subway map. And my thoughts took shape on, on that, that fire, fire escape. escape. Can you remind me of what it was like at the top of the world. Come with me. We begin in July with a stop at my corner fire hydrant. You would open it every summer. I'd bust it with a wrench till my face got drenched and I heard the sirens and then I ran like hell. You ran like yeah, hell. Yeah, I ran like hell. I remember to well. Your father's dispatch window, they let me in, yo, they're coming to get me. You were always in constant trouble. And your dad would act all snide, but he let me hide, you'd be there inside. Life was easier then. Nina, everything is easier when you're home. The street's a little kinder when you're home. Can't you see that the day seems clearer now that you are here or is it me? Maybe it's just me. We gotta go and wanna show you all I know. The sun is setting and lights are getting low. Are we going to Castle Garden? Maybe, maybe not, but wait to take a shot. When the day is hot, I got a perfect shade spot. A little ways away that ought to cool us down. Cool us Welcome down. back to town. Now back in high school, when it darkened, you'd hang out in Bennett Park. And again. Usnavi would bring his radio. As I walked home from senior studies, I'd see you rapping with your buddies. With volume high, and you walked on by. <laughs> 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 Go see else. this show. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, not even warmed up. Oh god. Okay. Welcome to the new sound of Rockland. Rocklandworldradio.com. Exciting online TV and radio. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I Welcome to the new sound of Rockland. Rocklandworldradio.com. Exciting online TV and radio. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Welcome, Welcome to the new sound of Rockland. 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 Worldradio.com. Rockland. Exciting Exciting online TV and radio. radio. Watch and listen to what you've been missing. Broadcasting independent music, art, and culture. From the world of pop to poetry, classical to cutting edge. Movies, comedy, jazz, jams, rock and roll baby, interviews, information, and event listings. Join, join the revolution. It's not just radio, it's Rockland World Radio. Rocklandworldradio.com